right. Hey everyone, what is up? Today is a very special cooking with Trish. I have my interpreter here because today I'm making, is it an Israeli dish or is it just your mom who happens to be Israeli's dish? I think, yeah, my mom's that happened to be Israeli. It's not like well, an Israeli. I guess some of the like some of the ingredients are like very Israeli. <laughs> so we picked these up at the Israeli market. It's called a Mr. Kosher. Okay, what is this one? Let me see. This is spicy paprika. No, you're just saying Hebrew so I can oh, practice yeah. my Hebrew. Okay, <laughs> we know that one. Now say this one. Paprika metuka. This is sweet paprika? Yes. Okay. Um, grounded. <laughs> Kamun. <laughs> Kamun tahun. <laughs> oh. Kamun. Pepper. Kamun. Oh. Cumin. Yes. <laughs> Dang, I don't know. I don't know the ingredients yeah. that much in Hebrew. Okay, and this one? Kukum. Kukum. Tahun. Oh. Look at the color. Yeah, no, don't! Tim, don't give me hints. Tim, Tim Rarick. Yes. <laughs> don't give me hints. I'm trying to practice my thing. And then this? Marak of. Marak of. It's like a... I don't know the Hebrew, but I'm going to guess... It's like a bouillon, like a seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's like a soup, like chicken soup. Susan, Susan. Okay, I don't know. All right, so anyways, this is my mother-in-law's recipe. I just know Moses like loves his mother's cooking, and I've had it a couple times, and it's been really, really good. In fact, is this the dish I had, or is this a little different? You had this once, and you had and another one it. that was a different chicken dish, but this... Well, first of all, I love that it's chicken and potatoes because I'm like, yes. And a lot of these spices we use, the only thing I have never used is like turmeric, but everything else we've used, and because it's like chicken and potatoes and it's like one of your favorite dishes, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. So we got the recipe from my mother-in-law. I'm very, very excited to try it. It is in Hebrew, so <laughs> go for it. What is the, what's this first line say in Hebrew? <laughs> oh, okay. Chicken with vegetables in the oven. And then, oh, okay. This is the name of 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 the name Arba tapuche adama. Arba, uh, four potatoes. Yes. Shte batal, batalim. Shte? Is that shtai? Yes. It's shte too? Okay. Oh. Shte, tom two tomatoes. Batal. One or batal. how many? No, 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 <laughs> stop doing the charades. I can get it. <laughs> onion, yes. how many? Shtai. Oh, two onion? Yes. But you said stay, now you're saying stein. Well, it's like male, female, I can say stein. <laughs> so it's tomatoes, female, and onions, yeah. Stein, um, agvaniot. Stein, agvaniot? Two. Don't tell me, don't give me any. Uh, two. Alright, so I got something wrong. It's two tomato, two onion, four potato. Four chicken. Echad shoe. One garlic. Okay. I don't know, guys. I try my best. The my what's the one I do? Duolingo. Is that the one I do? I don't know. The app. I don't think it's like working. Oh, what happened? I don't know. All right. So now we're going to actually do the chicken marinade. I guess this is how we do it. We don't put the chicken in yet. We're going to do the everything else first. Yes. So what does it say in Hebrew? קודם כל שמן זית שליש קוס. So like, you said a lot, right? <laughs> שליש is like a third. I need more olive oil. I like all the olive oil, dang. It's gonna be a juicy chicken. A little pregnant belly right there. <laughs> so yeah, because we're gonna use the oil to kind of, everything's gonna be covered by the spices in the oil. I think this is the most olive oil we've ever used on a recipe. I like it. Should I get another bottle? No, I think that'll be enough. Really? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. Will your mom approve or should we have another bottle? Are you sure we can do more? I don't know if that's a third. 
We'll see as okay. we go. Okay. Yeah. Next. 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 Once kaf melea dvash. Honey. Okay. Kaf is. Tablespoon or one? Okay. I just I just assumed one. I thought you would tell me. I was like, okay. Oh, have you used this before? Yeah, that's why it's always empty. Wait, that's a lot. Too much? <laughs> oh no. <Like> okay. <laughs> one spoon. I always honey. do a little extra seasoning, but okay. Yeah, but this is honey. I never used honey in a recipe. It's like honey chicken. So my mom said that the honey kind of makes the chicken golden. Mm. You know, make it kind of crispy and golden. I love a crispy chicken. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be forever. Yum, okay. <laughs> then <laughs> I'll do more in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Kaf vachetzi paprika metuka. Wait, I'm supposed to know my heat, but I'm supposed to be able to know it. I was going to grab the one I needed. So, oh. one and a half? Yeah. Here's the other side of it. Oh. It's literally the same, isn't it? <laughs> okay. One. Half. You can put a bit more. Sticking to the honey. I guess yeah. I could have got a new spoon, but oh well. Good. Okay. Now, the picante... If you want it spicy. We want it spicy. Chatsi kaf paprika halifa. Chatsi kaf paprika halifa. Did I get it right? Yes. Wow, that was in the middle too. So for all you think that we preset this up, that was in the middle. Chatsi kaf. Chatsi. Oh, yeah, when we swim we do the chatsi, right? Yes. The half. Half. Okay. One more. Let's get the I usually yeah, like high that's... spices. No, you know but this one mean? is really spicy. Love a spicy. Okay, now, Hatsikaf Kamun. Hatsikaf Kamun, that's the cumin. Yes. That's easy to remember. <laughs> Kamun. Oh, man, I always open. Shout out Mr. Kosher in Encino. It's it's right across from Father Phil and Woods. Oh. I think a bit more. Okay. Yeah. Trusting you on this since this is your mother's recipe. Otherwise, I'd be like, no, I know. Hatsikaf the last one, so. Let's see. Oh no, it's not open. Can you help me? Let's see, Kaf Kuku. Whew, these spices are spices. They smell good though. Look at the colors of them. We've never used this before. This is very exciting. Wow, this is, these are spices. I thought we spiced our food. These are it. Okay. Yep. And now, Melach the Pilpel. Do what? Hmm. Melach the pilpel. Oh, no, no bouillon? So this one also has a spoon. Wow, this looks good. Good. Tov. Melach. We love the salt. Ani oh have it at salt. Mela. Oh yeah, Mela. Ani oh have it now. Do. Okay, okay. Okay. So, love, babe. Mmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what to say to you. Sababa. Sababa, you mean? We don't put the boy in it. Okay. Or not yet. Yeah, we'll put. That honey though. This is like KFC honey glaze. Wow. Should I get a proper That's good. mix? No, we're professionals here. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We could get a professional. Okay, so we are going to take our drumsticks and our thighs, because this is Moses' favorite. I love a drumstick. I've actually never had a thigh, but I'll try it. So I'm going to go ahead and just really cover this. Ooh, it's thick. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Oops, just splashed myself. That's okay. Should I thicken it more? Should I put more? No, because later we'll put second layers. Okay. I just want to douse in this. And then just do it directly onto this thing? Yep. 
Okay. So now we're gonna just, this looks so good, this glaze though, looks amazing. Wow. Mm. And we're gonna put this in the oven. This whole recipe takes about two hours, just FYI. Most of it's baking, it's only like 20 minute prep, but just, if you are going to be, mm. And this came from the kosher market. This chicken looks extra, extra delicious. <laughs> Usually we just get ours from Ralph's and I feel like we have to double wash it, but this one looks so good. Mm. What is this called in Hebrew? <laughs> like marinating, I don't know. My mom calls it watering the chicken. Oh, we're watering <laughs> the chicken. Oh, I love that. I get that for sure. We are bathing this chicken. How do you say it in Hebrew? Lashkot tata'of. Lashkot tata'of. Did I say it right? Yeah. Lashkot. <laughs> That's kisses. Mmm, this looks good. Should I put more on or you think it's good? Or we're gonna put more on later, you said? We're gonna put later, yeah. Okay. The leftovers are gonna go on. Oh my god. Have you guys seen that? Oh my god, this is like a... I think all that olive oil was the secret, dang. Okay. And we're gonna do one more drumstick in there. Yum! Okay, we missed a really crucial step, and that is the garlic. So we're gonna mix this in. I'm gonna just remarinate the chicken, because honestly that was so much fun, I just wanna remarinate it anyways. But yeah, definitely don't forget that freshly chopped garlic. Okay, so now we get to do that all over again, which I am not mad at, because honestly that was like so much fun. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put some of these pieces in there, and redo it. Really coat it now with the garlic because we love garlic. Live for garlic, love the garlic. Alrighty, so now that we have our chicken again, we are going to go with our potatoes and do the exact same thing. We are going to put them in our, I guess, marinade, I guess this is. So these are some half sliced potatoes and not cooked or anything because we are going to bake them. Just give a good a coating on them. Mm. And we're actually going to lay the potatoes flat onto here. We're gonna kind of stack them up with the tomatoes and onions. Get all the sauces on there. Mmm. It smells literally so good. And then next, we are going to layer the tomatoes across flat, covering everything but the chicken. And yeah, I love this because tomato like paste seems to be the secret for most of our recipes. So we have fresh tomatoes for this. So it's gonna be really exciting, really. I mean, I feel like I'm doing one of those TikToks where they like keep layering and layering and it turns into magic. So, just some here and there. And then we're gonna put some on the sides. All the extra tomatoes. All right, and now we are going to do the same thing with the onions. Ooh. Which onions are like one of my favorite things in the whole world. So, I'm just going to glaze those on the top. Mmm, it smells like a hamburger kind of too. Tomato and onions, it's a whopper. Except unlike Burger King, you're gonna just take it our way and nothing else. Mmm. Wow, the onions smell so good too. Now we're gonna take the rest of our marinade and just put it over the rest of the chicken. That we get all of the use and the flavor. Get a 
little and then I can go back for a second if need to. So now we are going to cover the chicken with foil. Two pieces because this is a big old dish. Okay, so after an hour, we are now checking on the chicken and we are going to scoop the sauces onto the chicken so it gets really saucy and we're going to move the potatoes up over the tomato. The goal of this little motion right here is to move the potatoes up. So the potatoes are going to be cooked above. So I'm gonna actually try and move the potatoes over so I can actually get into the juices. I've never done this before, so you know, stay with me. Yeah, oh yeah, because the juices are there. So I'm gonna just try and put the potatoes up first and then scoop the juices onto the chicken. Mm, it smells literally so good. It was like it smells like my mom's house, which is so exciting. Okay, now we're gonna take the juice and we're going to put it over the chicken to keep it nice and flavorful. Because there's a lot. You guys, the smell of this is like amazing. Okay, so to get more of the juices and get the potatoes, so these are the potatoes up, so now I'm gonna drag the tomatoes down. I'm gonna splash my belly. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna start putting, just trying to find all the tomatoes. It's like a little game, just find the potatoes and bring them to the top. Once I bring this all, Put the tomatoes as I see them kind of down. So any tomatoes I see, onions, I'm gonna put beneath so I can just put the potatoes right back over it. So after I covered the chicken and the potatoes with the sauce, we're going to leave the aluminum covers off and put it back in for about half hour so we can have the juices soaking, get it crispy, but the potatoes are cooking because they're breaking, which is a good thing. And yeah, it smells amazing. So we're gonna pop it back in the oven for another half hour. So the big thing is to keep checking on it. This is after half hour. So if it doesn't look like, if you need more moisture, you can add water, but I'm gonna just keep adding more sauce over top of everything. Um, according to Moses, this looks perfect. We just have it bake a little longer. If it's too, if it's too wet, you just keep baking it. So we're gonna just keep putting the sauces all over. But it smells so good, and the crispy chicken. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me! It's so good. There's the final product. Do you see it? Here it's sizzling. Oh, 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 oh. It smells so freaking good. As you can see. That is the final product. Moses gave the approval that it looked like his mom's. It smells exactly like being home in Israel. Really? Yes. And... Is, yay, I'm so excited to try it. This is like... 
This is how you know. Oh, that potato looks so You made so it good. perfect. And the potatoes are. Focus. And the potatoes are like, this is what they look like. Mmm. They're crispy and a little brown. Little... You gonna try it? Yeah. Well, I want you to try it. No, you try it. This There's is one your more. Meal. Here, you see, like, here's this one. But that one's like a perfect. You see crispy. how nice it is? Like the tomatoes when they're the like. The juice is like dripping off of it. Yeah. So the nice thing about the tomatoes is when they get like all kind of really nicely cooked. Let's see. All right. So we're trying the potatoes first. Are you yeah, sure you don't? Know, this is like perfect. Mmm. Right. <laughs> Mm. 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 Oh my god. This is like super soft, but then mm. chewy and crispy at the same time. It's actually so good. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to make potatoes like this so bad, like other potatoes. Like, how do you describe this? Like, the potato melts in your mouth. I know. It's just so. It's so crazy because this was actually like so mm. simple. Like, once you did everything, it was like, it was like yeah. a crock pot. You just leave it. <laughs> we did it. Yeah! Surprise! Wow. This is it. Because my mom gave this recipe mm. to a lot of people and they failed. Really? But. Oh my god. This is the flavor mm. is so good. Because mm -hmm. we love like sauce and rice. That's like our thing. Like we will have sauce and rice anywhere we go. Like it's our favorite part. But like, the sauce and the potato. Oh my god. These potatoes. Oh my god. I put extra potatoes because I knew that if, we love them. if they're good, <laughs> it's going to be really good. Mm. So, oh my god. Yeah. So there's really nothing to change. Like we've, I wouldn't change anything on this. This is perfect. Wow. You can leave it longer, but this is, this is what you want the potatoes to be. So. Mm. I'm surprised. I'm so impressed. So we added one hour covered. Mm -hmm. Take it off. And then like one hour open. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, these potatoes are like everything. This is so pretty. Oh my god. I right. <laughs> you know, it's so good. Mm. And we forget to even serve ourselves. We should have made this for lunch. Mm. So we could have had it for dinner too. So you're more into... I like the drumsticks. Drumsticks. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Wow. Good. I'm scared it's gonna be too hot. I should be serving you. You're in Israel, or you're my guest. <laughs> no, you're my guest. Okay, look at that. They're so good. I'm like, this is good for me right now. Hmm? They're good for me. Is your yeah. put it on the rice so it soaks in? Yeah. Yeah, the rice and chicken will be like really good. I'm really excited. I'm excited to try this chicken because it's like baked. And we haven't made, we've never made baked chicken. I guess I never really had a recipe. Is it hot? Oh, it's hot. I would say use the fork. To scrape it off? To kind of open it up so it cools down a bit. Okay. Inside. And then. Ooh, I want everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love the thighs and I love the drumsticks. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that <laughs> it's meat looks so like succulent. Okay, let's see. I want to try the skin, but it's gonna be hot. Oh, mmm. The skin is the best part. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we also. Oh my have... god. Is it? That chicken. It's ready. This is like your mom's was doing. I remember about hers. It literally slid off the bone. <laughs> right. Which is like not it's as fancy. It's really succulent inside. When you keep the skin of the chicken on, it keeps it nice and succulent Whoa. inside. Oh my god. No, this is like. And then we also made really some good. Israeli salad. Just tomato, cucumber, a little bit of <laughs> onion, a little bit of olive oil, lemon, salt, and pepper. Uh, that's Moses' favorite. I was like, that's a salad. I love salad on uh, rice. My favorite drink from Israel. <laughs> Is it real real beer or? Malt beer. I'm not alcoholic. It's called Ooh, and what's this called? 
That's the fizzy bubbly. Fizzy bubbly. <laughs> yeah, I look like fizzy bubbly from Zion. Yeah, everyone knows this one is real. Spring. The name is Spring. 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 Do you have to shake it? Sec. Yep. Like a lot or no? You know mm. they shake wall. Doesn't say shake wall on it? Like this? Yeah. I mean this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so excited. I can't read anything in it, but I love it. It does look like the fizzy bubbly. That chicken. Oh my god. This is. Is literally so freaking good. Like, and the skin's my favorite part, and I haven't even had the skin yet. I'm just eating mm -hmm. the meat. And it literally slides off the freaking. I can't wait to see my mom. Mm -hmm. Do you send her a picture? You. I send her one picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm like not even kidding. This is like one of our best meals. It's just so different. We never make like baked chicken or baked like these potatoes in the oven. Oh my god. It's really healthy. Mm hmm Like the chicken, nothing is fried or anything. And once again, the spices make such a good combination. Oh. Like it's like this is actually the meat. <laughs> well also I don't know if it's like also the meat of the kosher market we went to, but it's like the best meat I've ever had. Because you know I like jump sticks from KFC, but it's like dry, it doesn't come off the bowl, or whatever. But this is like this is like really good chicken. And I don't I don't like dark meat unless like like I said KFC I'll have jump sticks, that's it. Oh my god. But also kosher meat, they treat it a certain way, so, mm. you know, it's always very fresh and clean. Oh my god. It's so good. I have all the technology. Like, literally, it's like, <laughs> I picked it off the bone. Okay, it's so wanna, good. I just want to eat it on the I'm not it. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, this mm. is actually so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay, good. I don't know. Mmm. Oh my god, that. Mmm, the skin is so crispy. Mmm, you hear the crunch? Like, you can't even think, you know, like, not one spice comes out, like everything. No, again, it's that perfect like it's combination. It's tasty, but it has. You can sense the honey. Like, it's mm -hmm. not sweet, but you can sense the. It gives it it's something like glazed really, almost. Yeah. Oh my god. And just easy. Once again, it's like so easy. But I was kind of like nervous to cook something because it's like, I don't know, it's your mom's recipe. I don't know, I'd be like an all day thing, but mm. it's actually super simple. And so good. No, we called her and she was so happy. She was just like, <laughs> I have this recipe and this recipe. I wanted to make this. Oh my God, let's make it all. I, well, this I know is like one of your favorites you talk about, but I'm not going to make anything that you like because. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. And it's hot and fresh. Yeah, the skin is so good. Mm. Usually Friday Friday afternoon is like a big dinner, you know, Shabbat dinner. It's like our Shabbat, so it's not Friday. Oh my god. And my mom would make this. Oh, it's so good. So this was like, as a kid you had this? Oh yeah, growing up. Really? Mm -hmm. And she still makes it and it's still one of your favorites. Absolutely. Oh my god. Aww. I like that we like something similar. Or like, because you like normally the places you go to, like the Middle Eastern places, like the shawarma places, I don't like love, but this I like love. I don't know what it is about shawarma that I don't particularly love. I, I think it's just the way they cook it. I know, I'm gonna. I don't I'm know, something's gonna bust. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. My hands are oily. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's funny. It's the shape of the bottle. Mm -hmm. The whole bottle twists. Okay. This food is so good. I like the rice, the chicken, the potatoes. This is my version of soul food. No, totally. I can feel it. It's like, mm. It's just so, oh my god, amazing. The flavor is yeah. amazing. Can you cheer? Mm. What's it? Mmm. Lahaim. Lahaim. I just want to eat and eat and eat. I know. Eat. Oh my god. I help. I love it. I'm like I'm like shook at how good it is. Mm. I will take every piece of meat off of here too. I'm good to one more. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Uh-huh. That skin is like amazing. 
Yeah, we were, <laughs> as kids, we were like fight for those things. Really? Yeah. Well, don't you want it? You should babe, have it, babe. I have more. Ah. Because I eat the thighs. You don't even eat them. But mm. the skin. Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, I thought we were going to have a lot left over, but it's already pretty empty. Mm. <laughs> wow. This thing is a kid, you like, you know, we're like four siblings, two parents, is like six people. And my mom would make, it doesn't matter how much she made, it's never enough, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, you have to share. So, like, you know which piece of chicken you're going to get, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you feel good now having all this, all the thighs to yourself? I made as many potatoes as I wanted. Um. Mmm. Okay. This I like love. What are some of your other favorite dishes? Oh, I don't know. It just comes off. It's crazy. What are some of your other favorite dishes? Well, actually, I'm thinking the next one. Mm. My mom's macaroni. What's in it? Like the way she makes pasta. Oh yeah, you can say that, but I feel like do you like it? Mm -hmm. It's my new favorite. I yeah. just feel like we make so much pasta. I mean if it's like good though, you know I love pasta. It's just different. I don't know, it's just I'm more excited about you trying it. Yeah, I like trying it too. I just like to cook what you like. Like I wanna make sure you love something. Like if you like lamb, I'll try and cook lamb for you. You know what I mean? Right now. Okay. Oh wow, the Oh well. <laughs> the tomato and the rice is so good together. Yeah. It's just like... Oh, the sauce on the rice is like. Well. Wow. What would your family discussions be? How would you say it in Hebrew? Oh wait, no, that's my favorite game to play. We can change it. <laughs> I always say like, hey, what if we were in high school and we were dating? Like, how would you <laughs> talk to me at the lockers? <laughs> okay, what if we were in high school and we're dating, or we can be in college? We're college and we're dating, and we're out to dinner. And what would our conversations be in Hebrew? In Israel? Yeah, but say it in Hebrew. Don't say it in English. I'll try to have a conversation with you. Like, we're on a date. As if she got it, what's up? I'm Shelly. I'm Neshikot. I'm Kapa, Shelly. Kapa, Shelly. Metalai. Metalai? Chaim, Shelly. I'm Jelly. Uh, Ani Ola Aleha. Exactly. The same thing? Ani Ola Aleha. Oh. Tada. 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 What is it? Tauchel? Tauch. My. My. Atreva. Huh? Atreva. Yeah, Taim. Can Taim. Taim Boy. Taim Boy. What did I say? Did I answer your question or no? <laughs> What do you say? Ask if you're hungry. Oh. So the last one. You're, you remember. I need yeah. A... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mamash, mamash, Reba. I'm back here. Um, is that tov? Tov, my Mamash, 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 tov. Mamash, mamash. How many? I don't know. The first date? <laughs> oh, we're the first date that we were dating. <laughs> yeah, on the first date too. Mm. Mm. Would you try salad on your rice? I would try it. Mm -hmm. I'll try anything you like. You love this salad. Oh, have it o t o ta. Oh, have o t o ta. Oh, have ta. Oh, have ta. Ah, yeah. Can. Can. Yeah. Let's put him on the side. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Cause you love this salad. Oh my god. No, it's seriously so good. Mm. <gasps> I'm so excited. Like I genuinely like this for mom and sister on the weekend. Oh, for sure. They would love because they're like like eat healthy, you know. It's not fried like our normal. <laughs> Could we start? We start early. Like ten, it'd be ready by noon. And this is when you can make extra chicken. I know you'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's crazy. We have to actually get a bigger tray. 
Yeah, that was the perfect size for us. <laughs> that was literally so much for us. Oh my god. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that it turned out. I really was just like, it's not going to be no, as good. No, but we nailed it. I mean, this is exactly what's supposed to be. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try some of the salad. Well, this is this really salad? Look, here's the thing. It's not nasty. No, I know it's a stretch for you to... But to me, this is better than like... What are those big chunks of lettuce they put in our salad here in America? Right. Like those big ones. I'd rather eat this. This almost tastes like pisoya gallo. <laughs> yeah, it's not different than that. You know, which is like, again, it's not bad. Is there a nutritional? If there's nutritional value in it, I'll eat it. If there's not, then it's like, okay, why am I eating this? Because like salad, they say there's like not a lot of nutritional value in salad, unless you're getting like kale and stuff. But when I moved here, Try like again. salads would be just a bunch of leaves, and I was like, what's going on here? Yeah. Like that's not a salad. A salad is like. It's more solid, like it has. It's also like going from this delicious hot food to like the cold. It's like mm. a weird just juxtaposition. Do you want more sauce on your side? On your rice? No, I got lots of rice on here. I got lots of sauce in here. It's oh. so good. Right. The mm -hmm. potatoes, like, I like got everything mm. though. The chicken, the potatoes. The potatoes are almost like a dessert. It's like a jam. Mm. I don't know how to explain it. I can't get over them. And we start kind of late. It's like late now. It's like 8.30, but... And we start earlier, man, we can have this all night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have to make it again just so I can do a TikTok on it, because I wasn't doing TikTok. <laughs> okay. It looks, huh? <laughs> Where do you rank this on the stuff we cooked? Man, I just, I just feel like we nailed this one so good that... Wow. It's hard to... Is it number one? So that's what's giving you nostalgia. It's your mom's cooking. It's definitely up there. It's not number one? Like, I don't know even what. Like, to me, top three, you know what I mean? But what else would we get there? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is your favorite. It's actually one of mine for real. Like aside from I love chicken parm and I love the stir fry, but I love this because it's just something that I never make and like, and I love, I love baked chicken and I love baked, well I guess like potatoes, like the, they're so good. Mm. Mm. The, this, and the meat melts off. I want to say it's where you got the meat too. So that's like the best drumstick I've ever had. What else can I do? Sorry. Potatoes? I'm getting full. For real. Honestly, if I knew this was going to be as good, I would have skipped lunch. I had like a little lunch because I thought, oh, well, you know, I'll eat some lunch because I don't know if I'm going to like it as much like as I like, like a pasta. But dang. It's yeah, so good. Yeah, but still, you know, it would be late. Yeah. yeah. If you didn't taste them, kill me, I would be there. Hmm, thank you. Are you sure you don't want that? That seems so good. You said this is your favorite part. part. Mm. I need to have that lunch. So it's not like this isn't like a traditional dish though that you could get in a restaurant. This is like specific to your mom cooking. Mm -hmm. That's cool though. I like that because you can't go out and get this because it doesn't even have a name. We just call it chicken in the oven. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> Should I make it a title of this? Should I get in the oven? <laughs> like, what? I like that. Straight to the point. <laughs> like if my mom said, I'm making chicken in the oven, we know that this is what she's making. No. <laughs> it's very literal. <laughs> no, but I mean like, it's specifically this. This, the spices, the flavors, I like the... I like it though, because like you have, you have other things like, when I was telling you like pigs in a blanket, and you're like, what are those? <laughs> you know? You gotta say what it is. I'm just gonna say like the turmeric. Turmeric? I feel like when that I smelled that first, I was like, my ass looked really potent, but... But all the seasoning blends, you yeah. really can't taste anything. No, I don't taste any one specific And thing. we had, we never had the sweet and smoked paprika. Like, I feel like 
Or what's the other one? Sweet and... Spicy. Spicy. I have paprika's always smoked paprika. So that was a bit different. I think the, the blend too, the seasoning. Whew. I think it's a whole bunch. You love the sauce in this rice. It's so good. When we make um, the spaghetti, we use paprika. Really? Mm -hmm. Is there like a sauce or is it red or what? Yeah, it's really red. Mm. It's really red. It's spicy. Mm. I mean, you would like it because here nobody really makes spicy pasta. No. It's spicy. It'll be a new one to try. Oh my god. I love this stuff so much. The chicken is like. I love the chicken that's like smothered and sauced down here. Mmm. I swear we make better food than the restaurants. I mean, that's, there's no even doubt. I, mean, the, I never thought the that. The Chinese food you made is better than any mm -hmm. Chinese restaurants I've been to. I would never have said that. Like, well, anyone's home cooking, my mom's, anybody's. I'm like, no, I'd rather go to eat. But now, I love this so much. Do you try your stuff? Or are you still eating? I will. Everything's so good, I just don't even know. Oh my god. It's like Christmas morning. Oh, we made this for Christmas. <laughs> have a good dish in the winter. Mm-hmm. Because it's also like, it, like you just, it's like, I keep saying this, but it's like you just pop it in when it's so crazy. Like when we make our fried chicken, you have to be frying it and you know, all that stuff like that. This one, you just kind of, like we did so many other things while we let this in and like. Right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Man. And you would eat it with rice over there? Yeah, rice, salad. Oh my god, it's literally so good. Mmm. I mean, we literally like eat like all this. Mmm. Yeah, I think if we, when, when we go to Israel, you like the food. I like your mom's food. <laughs> this is better than any Israeli restaurant I've been to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Were you always excited when she would make this? Like she'd be like, oh, we're having chicken in the oven tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, she could give you a crash course in cooking. And just be in the kitchen all day. Yes, I would love that. I know, because when she's here, I'm like, okay, she's on vacation. I don't want her to like, have to like cook, teach me to cook, but it's really fun. But over there, I can like learn it more. Were you sad when you like went to the military and didn't have her cooking anymore? Yeah. Because you're such a food person. Even when I met you, like the food you liked, you were always out to dinner and you always ate food. Mm -hmm. uh, every time when I, after I moved here, people asked me what I missed the most about Israel. Food was always number one. Oh. I feel like we take it for granted when we're like young. Mom's cooking. My mom didn't like cook a lot, but like, I still like her chocolate cakes and stuff. And then when I moved out, I was like, oh man. No, like our friends would be excited to come over. Oh, would you have dinner with them? Like your friends? If they, if they jumped for lunch or dinner, mm -hmm. they'd be so excited because they'd be like, my mom's cooking. Did your girlfriend have your mom's cooking? Mine Never. the second girl to enjoy your mom's Never. cooking. <laughs> you lie. You said you had a girlfriend in high school. There's no way I can't come home for dinner. No, we kept her out in the shed. <laughs> well, this is so paranoid about telling you about his ex-girlfriends that he's just like, I don't want you to tell me her name. Mm -hmm. Babe, what am I going to do? <laughs> That's exactly the thing. I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> we are married. <laughs> The baby on the way. <laughs> we can name our baby chicken. Oh, we can say chicken. our baby's chicken in the oven. <laughs> chicken in the oven. Off but the new. What did I say? What? Off but new? Off. Off. But the new. But the new. How do you say belly again? Betten. Oh, yeah, but. Is that button? What did they say? Button. What baby button? Button. Button. Yeah. So, Boten and what was the other one? Betten. Oh my god, it's like the same thing. Be or Bo? 
By the way, you look so handsome. You look like a dad tonight with your hair. <laughs> you look so cool. You look like Elvis. I didn't do anything. Mm. Oh my god. How you feeling? No, I'm stop eating. Don't, don't stop. I'm just taking a little break for my belly. I really was gonna eat lunch so late because I was like, oh, because this is so good. Hey, I have a feeling we're doing this again soon. <laughs> I'm so down for this. It's like literally so easy. Oh my god. Actually, it's something we should make for your dad. Oh yeah, he would love this. The spices are just so, so freaking good. Like I can't even. Maybe when we go down there, because you got those. No, the liver. I can make this too. Or we can bring the groceries and just pop in the oven. But they also said they're going to come up with like my last month or two because I mm -hmm. won't be able to go down there. So when they come up, we'll be good. Since our kitchen is, I mean, their kitchen's big too, but that'd be a good idea. We'll yeah. make this. I can make his cheesecake for dessert that he loves. My dad. That'd be so good. So I have my hubby's favorite meal, my dad's favorite meal. I never thought I'd be such a family person here. Family girl. Just having a mother-in-law, a dad, a hubby. <laughs> a baby. <sighs> Baby's happy. Oh my god, my belly's like so warm and full. I love it. And we got other snacks too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's your favorite. So a famous Israeli snack. Oh, beastly. So it's supposedly some kind of a barbecue flavor. And it always smells like kind of weird. <gasps> These are my favorite. Click. <laughs> They're like Nestle Crunch balls. They're so good. It's like cornflakes covered with. <laughs> um, it chocolate. literally says cornflakes, doesn't it, on there? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> those are cornflakes. Moses calls <laughs> Applejack cornflakes. I mean, those aren't cornflakes. Okay, in Israel we call cereal cornflakes. Any cereal is cornflakes. <laughs> now this is the original Clique. flake. That's the original. Then they made more. Balls. I love it. Of course. Are you going to heat up this chicken or sugar or what? Hmm? Are you going to heat it up or? We no, I think so. I don't know. I kind of want that drumstick. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, have I just, but if you're going to heat it up. Babe, I have like four But thighs. did you get enough drumsticks? Yeah, the thighs are better. Wait. <laughs> Yum. Oh. That's potatoes. Oh my god. This meat? Mmm. 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 I put so many potatoes in <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and we ate them all. Like we have to double the amount like <laughs> no. two more people. We, I know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I feel like you said this to your mom and we'll show our food we made and show that we eat it all. <laughs> She'll be like, oh my god. Because I feel like this is a good serve like four This people. is a real mukbang. We're like <laughs> <laughs> finishing up the whole. The most food. The whole tray. Oh my god. This chicken is to die for. I'm so like in awe of this chicken. Usually it's well, so it's, dark. This is like perf. Because it's a combination of mm -hmm. cooking it right, like it's like it's succulent inside and crispy on the outside, and the spices, mm -hmm. like the right flavors. Mm. Wow. Yum. Yeah. And this is our first like original recipe that we've shared. All right. You know, because you're not following someone else's. <laughs> there are no links in the description. <laughs> Literally none. I don't think your mother, but she's not on social media, so. It's a very special treat, by the way. Thank you, Toda, for this, for letting us share it. Because Mary, sure she wants us to share. You know, some people are like protective of their recipes. No, my mom loves. I told you, she already wants us to cook so many other things. I'm down. Maybe we should write it in the description. Yeah. I know, because then someone else can cook it and follow our recipe. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, I follow this. Yeah, we haven't done one like that. I'm always following someone else's. Not that, I mean, we followed someone else's, but. Mm. Dang. 
I can't get over how it just slides off too. Ah! So beautiful. Mm. Oh yeah, there's also sauce for the rice. So you think we have to... Hmm? Well, the good thing is we documented it. <laughs> yeah, so we know. We can follow our own. Because we just got it right. No, that was crazy the first time. I was just thinking amounts of oil, different spices. Like. Oh, we made a lot of it too. I was putting like extra spice in. And yeah. Oh my god. It makes more sense if you want to make a bigger portion to actually do one more tray. Whew. Oh my god. I could just go to sleep right now. Holy cow. Yeah, this is the longest we've food coma. <laughs> filmed because of beer. <laughs> I know. Um, no, this was like bomb. I think it's we just like have been loving chicken and rice too. So like finding this combination of like the perfect chicken and it's just hot and it soaks up in the rice and the potatoes. I mean, we demolish those potatoes. Those tomatoes, mm -hmm. those potatoes are gone. And you cut a lot of potatoes. <laughs> I, I them. did. I was like. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Because my mom said, I don't know, like four, and they cut like six, and I was just like. Good. Our babies are going to need it when they grow up like and sure. have to have those meat and potatoes. Oh, this is a dish they're going to like. Oh, for sure. I feel like our kids are going to eat so good. We're going to be like such good cooks by the time they're able to eat mm -hmm. food. <laughs> like, we've been practicing. I really feel like this past year and a half or whatever, or year, has been like me practicing to be a better me and now I can be like a good mom and now we're like practicing our cooking so we can be good cooks for our kids. Like I feel like everything has been like a prac, like without knowing like practice for mm -hmm. the big, the main event, which is being a parent. I feel like we've been like really nurturing those skills. In the world, every time you get to a place, the world is like, okay, Ready for Reward. this. Reward, yeah. You're ready for that. I feel You're ready that. ready for this. I feel that. I feel like keep leveling up and like I even think about us like, you know, a year and a half ago, whatever. And I was like, oh man. Sometimes I think about when we talk about something in the past. I'm like, God, I wish we were like stronger like we are now in our relationship back like, you know, a year and a half, two years ago or whatever. Because it's such a good place to be. But we were. Because other people would have not survived. What? No, but like you had said, like at the beginning, remember you said, like, I just felt like I was alone and I didn't have you, but now it's like we have each other. Right. No, but Even I'm when saying, we knew each other. I'm saying, like, our attraction to each other, like, in the soul level. Mm hmm. And us fighting against all odds mm -hmm. to be together because we were, everything was thrown at us from all directions. So I'm saying we were. I don't think somebody, I don't think in a different situation would. The relationship would have survived. No, that I knew. I like so many other times people had just left from the fact that you like stayed around. And like I, now I don't really. I obviously don't test you anymore because like, I know you're not going anywhere. But to me, I was like, wow, we're still together. You still want to be around? It was pretty crazy. Well, you know, it was one of those things where I just kind of not be around you. But now we're so strong that I wish like we were like that before, where it was like not even a question. I think before I like doubted your question, and now it's like, oh man. But you have to. I guess it takes a while. Because if you didn't doubt or question at the beginning, then you will be blindly walking into something that's probably not good for you. Yeah. All the time. Now we're stronger than ever. We like the same foods. Healthy foods. Good foods. Oh, we cook together. It's the best. The people that cook together, eat together. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We were... Oh, <laughs> die together, live alone, live, live together, die alone. No, live together, no, or live alone, die alone. I don't know, what was the... Live together, die, die together. Something like that. No, die alone, live together, die alone. No, so what's the point of... I don't know. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be like a positive thing, or... Live... Because they're everyone were fighting, and they're like, if you leave... <laughs> separately, like you'll die separately, like you'll mm -hmm. die alone. Live together, die together. But that seems to sounds too similar. We'll live, live together, die together. Live forever. I well, I like that better. <laughs>
No, I love cooking. Honestly, I could we could just do a cooking video every single day because like I love cooking with you. It's so much fun. And just finding these recipes and different things is Oh my god, I'm so full. I could eat more but I'm just gonna stop. Because <laughs> it's been like I only have two chickens left. <laughs> Well, I guess, yeah. well, we were saying we like to watch people cook, but then they never really eat. Like, I love that Josh Weissman, but he, like, never really... He takes, like, a bite, and that's it. And same thing with Babish. They take, like, a bite, and then you don't really get to see them eat and enjoy the food. Like, Can't trust them. They're no Pioneer Woman. Pioneer Woman has her whole family, or Valerie Bertinelli. Trisha Yearwood has a cooking show. There's so many... <laughs> there's so many... I say this, like, because I'm an old bitch. There's so many old bitches on Food Network, and I'm like, I feel like I'll be on there one day. Oh, we could be on there now. They're all like in their 50s, just cooking for their family. And it's like celebrities that use, well, they're like, yeah. Like Pioneer Woman, Valerie Bernoulli. Well, like you said, they were always prepared towards something, so. I'm ready for a cooking show. Everyone said, this is the real Dish with Trish. I'm like, I know, this should have been called Dish with Trish, not my podcast, but. As long as I can have my sous chef help me cut up everything. They do that, though. Like, if you watch Food Network, it's like it's pre-cut before they even. Everything is pre-made. All, all stages are pre-made. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does help me cut because I'm really bad with fish. But I could do it. I could do it. Like if you're gone all no, day. What am I supposed to do? Like we're cooking together. But I'm supposed to just... I know, but let's say you're like gone all day. Like today you were gone. I should have been preparing all this. I should have already had it in the oven. By the time you came home, that would have been white feast status. But I had the recipe, so next time. That's I can true. Do it. And it was in Hebrew. I think I could do it. Well, now I can follow my own. I do follow my own videos. When I recook something, <laughs> I follow my own videos because it's easier for me to watch. I'm like, okay. All right. Well, cheers. We did it. Behind. Making my mom proud. I hope so. It's a lot of glass The tray is empty. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited we made something that you actually genuinely love. Not that I don't think you genuinely love everything, but I was like so excited to make this. And I'm glad that you liked it. Thank you. I just didn't know. I was like so nervous. I'm like, oh, if we mess this up. No, I, I trust you. Because my mom was also, she's like, I gave people the recipe, they messed it up, they couldn't, <laughs> like something. I was like, no, 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 we don't stop until we get it right. This was, I don't know how we do it. Like, I, lately we've been on a roll. I'm just making everything perfect, so. I had so many drumsticks. Oh my God, my belly is so full. Let me just show you guys. If you thought it was. Well, I think it's a baby there. Oh, there might be a baby in there too. That is a. <laughs> That is a poppin'. I kind of love, I've been having my, this is a sports bra underneath, by the way. I've been loving having my belly out lately because it's kind of just, it's just there. <laughs> What's the summer vibes? It's just like. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> we just knock our bellies together. All right. Well, dang. Dang, Well, if you made it this far. Shabbat <laughs> shalom. <video>. Yeah. <laughs> if you made it this far. This is really good. I would drink more of this, but it does have sugar in it. I don't know. Not that it matters, but. No, I'll stop on it. Honestly, it's so good. I did drink a lot. I could drink this whole thing, but it's a big one too, so I'm not gonna drink all of it. This is that literally what this says. Is that say sugar? What's that say? Oh, it actually does. <gasps> What's it say? I literally just see like this big sugar spoon. I've never done this before. What's it say? High levels of sugar. That's ah! so <laughs> Okay, I didn't drink all of them. I just that had a little bit. That is so crazy. I never knew. This is like the, now they put on cigarettes like. Smoking kills. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I haven't had any sugar today, actually. I haven't had anything sweet. But they're so. like, no, preservatives. High levels of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it as like a big spoon of sugar. I was like, that's so we're funny. Fine. <laughs> I would think, if I didn't know what it is, I would think, are you supposed to put it with a scoop of ice cream? Yeah, I didn't know what that was. I was like, wait. <laughs> that's too funny. Okay, well, it's really good, but I have my water. I'll drink after this. <laughs> it's my sweet treat. It's my dessert tonight. Because honestly, I'm so full, I like cannot eat anything, so. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my mother-in-law for this recipe. Thank you to Moses for inspiring this. Thank you, guys, for saying, cut something Moses likes. And I was like, yeah, I agree. He likes the stuff we make, but I was like, yeah, we should cook. And you should try this. It's so, so good. If you guys try it, let us know. It's like literally so delicious, simple, best chicken we made, I think. Okay. Food high right now. Me too. Oh my god. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Shalom. Lalato. Nishikot. <laughs> Nishikot for. I say fishies. Nishikot la gigim. Nishikot la gigim. <laughs> <laughs>